Hi, I'm Trish Lee and you are watching Thrive with Trish, the place to be to build your confidence and make your dreams happen. Today we're going to be talking about a very big topic which many of my clients actually experience which is the fear of loneliness. Now if you have ever felt this feeling before, then you will really understand what I'm trying to say that it can be a very scary, depressing feeling. Personally, I know how bad that can feel, but thankfully I've come to learn four practices that has helped me overcome that feeling of loneliness. And today I would like to share that with you. Now, before we dive in into the four practices, let's analyze a little bit why do you feel that feeling of loneliness? There's actually a variety of reasons, but one of it is probably because maybe you were abandoned as a child. And so you associate being lonely as being unloved. The second reason could be because you suffer from low self-confidence. Inside you, you think that you are not worthy of love and that you by yourself, you're not capable of making your own life better. The third reason could be because you are simply not comfortable being alone. Perhaps you've never learned how to enjoy being alone. Whichever the reasons are, please do try out my four practices that I'm going to be sharing with you right now because I'm very sure that even if you implement even just one of it, it's going to help you break free from that fear of loneliness. Number one, relationships are a nice to have, not a must have. Now let that sink in for a minute. As I've shared before in many of my videos, I used to suffer from very, very low self-esteem and I used to think, gosh, I'm going to die alone. No one will ever love me and I'm just going to die maybe with nine cats in my house. The thing is, there came a point whereby I did get into relationships and many of them were very, very bad and I ended up hurting myself emotionally a lot. In the end, what happened was it came full cycle and although I was in relationships, after the relationships ended, I still felt alone and I felt like, gosh, nobody will ever love me and I'll be doomed. Now here's the thing. I sat myself down one day and I really took a lot of time to self-reflect and I realized this. I was fine before I had a relationship. I was fine during the relationship and I was still fine after the relationship. I was still alive and I was able to take care of myself. So what does this tell you, my friends? You don't need someone in your life in order to function, in order to feel happy, in order to live, to laugh, to do the things that you love, the things that makes you feel fulfilled. You don't need a relationship. Now, if you are seeking a relationship in hopes that only then you will be happy and feel fulfilled, please stop. That mindset is going to push you down the wrong path because What's going to happen is you're just going to take any Tom, Dick and Harry that comes your way because you think that you need a relationship in order to feel whole. Let me say that again. With or without a relationship, you will be fine. Please do not just take any guy that comes your way, even if they treat you badly and you just accept it because of your fear of loneliness. Don't do that to yourself. If you are right now single, then I can tell you for sure that the right guy or the right woman will come the moment you start loving and accepting yourself. If you are in a relationship but it's an unhealthy relationship, but you don't want to let go of that relationship because of your fear of loneliness, then please do yourself a favor and let go. Because as I said, you will be fine. Number two, embrace loneliness. For myself, I have been on one end of the spectrum, which is being lonely and feeling like I have no friends, nobody loves me, yada, yada, yada. And I've also been on the other spectrum whereby I have had too many friends, too many guys, everyone demanding a slice of my time in a day, which I have already so little to share, but everybody is demanding my time. Now, I'm not sharing this with you to brag. I'm sharing this with you to tell you that even on the other spectrum, it's not fun. Okay, it's very depressing 
to a point that I actually went some days by just putting my phone on flight mode because I didn't want anybody to contact me. Because think about it, if everybody is constantly messaging me, emailing me, asking Trish, hey, can you come out, blah, blah, blah. What time do I have left for myself? So the key point here is balance. Balance is everything. If you find it challenging to enjoy time being alone, perhaps you should really take some time to ask yourself really honestly, what is so wrong about being alone? The moment you can answer this question, you will then be able to know what are the right steps to take in order to eliminate that feeling. If it's because you have low self-confidence, then work on that. If you feel that you have a negative mindset that is feeding you all these toxic thoughts, making you feel that you're unloved and unwanted, then perhaps it's time to engage a good certified life coach to help you change those mindsets to a positive healthy mindset. A mindset that will help you to learn more how to practice self-love and self-acceptance. Number three, go out and meet people. Now, Facebook is not the answer. Social media, scrolling on it hours and hours non-stop is also not the answer. I mean, go out and have physical contact with real people and have deep conversations that are meaningful. Go and join clubs, associations, anything to fuel your hobby or your passion, or maybe to even learn a new skill. And when you're in these kinds of clubs with people who share the same interests as you, trying to strike a new conversation, making friends will become easy peasy. Tip number four, give others your helping hand. Research after research has shown that by you going out to help others and to give others joy, it will in return fill you up with so much of happiness from within rather than get caught up in the fear of being lonely. How about instead shift your focus into thinking, how can you use your time here on earth to serve others? By you going out there and helping others will help you to realize just how capable you are of giving others joy. And in return, you will automatically feel instantly just how much you are appreciated, needed, and loved in this world. So my dear friends, I do hope that you will try any one of these practices or all four. And believe me, slowly but surely, that feeling of loneliness won't eat you up so much inside anymore. Now let's end today with a quote of the day. No matter how lonely you feel, turning inwards will only amplify the feeling. The remedy to dissipate the feeling is by going out to help others. You will instantly realize just how much you are needed and loved in this world. Now I'd like to hear from you. In what scenarios do you feel that the fear of loneliness really overwhelms you? And what are the strategies that you have tried in order to help you overcome that feeling. Please do let me know either in the comments below or over at my website trishandco.com. And should you have any feedback for me or any specific topic that you would like me to dive in more on, please do let me know in the comments below. And my dear friends, if you like this episode, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe and share this video with your friends. Live strong and have the courage to create a life you love because your happiness matters. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time on Thrive with Trish.